Today I actually wanted to talk to you guys about something that I think we all go through and maybe it's been a while since I've talked about anything like this, but the other day I woke up and I had crippling self-doubt. And for creative folks and for artistic folks, I think that's pretty normal and all of us are more or less used to it. I have been doing this for a while now, several years, and I know it'll pass, but that day was the worst day. I woke up as I would any other day, and normally my routine goes something like I let the dogs out, I feed them, make a cup of coffee, I come up here and I kind of get my ducks in a row for that day of what I want to do. If I want to spend some time working on a tune for a potential video, do I want to spend the day checking something out to then make a video or something like that? When you're a YouTuber in particular, um, you kind of have to keep on track every day because that's important. But this particular day, I, I didn't even want to get out of bed. Well, I did want to get out of bed because I love coffee. No matter what, coffee's, coffee seems to be a constant, but everything I played, I pick up a guitar, I was playing the worst I've ever played. I was sounding the worst I've ever sounded. Even in social media, I wasn't, I wasn't doing anything productive. I was argumentative and I was kind of salty and I was just kind of having a bad day, but a, an umbrella over all that was a crippling sense of self-doubt. Now I've had this all my life and it's not a constant. When it does happen, I know it'll pass. I'm 37 years old at this point. I am pretty well versed in how to deal with this kind of thing. I always know it's temporary. I always know that, you know what? Tomorrow is another day, but this day, which was two days ago, was horrible. And let's be honest, I don't have anything to really feel horrible about. I mean, I I get to do really cool stuff for a living. I am very fortunate, I am very blessed, but I remember having these days, even back when I was working on cars for a living. And I consider those years, when I was a young guy working on cars and getting dirty every day, those were some of the best years of my entire life. I loved working on cars and I would still just, Oh, my hope in talking about this is to maybe add some insight or help any of you guys that are having these days. And sometimes they're more than days. Sometimes they're weeks. Sometimes they're months. When I got divorced a few years ago, I felt how I felt that day for six months. It was horrible. I was waking up into a nightmare every single day, mentally and emotionally, not necessarily the immediate things, you know, my bills were paid, I had electricity, I had something to eat. I'm not talking about those things, but mentally inside, the war inside was raging and I just couldn't get it to calm down. But fast forward, what, three years now, and I still have those days. Those days are really, really tough. I don't wanna do anything, and I wouldn't categorize it as depression per se. It's just a crippling sense of whatever I put out or do or put energy into, it's a waste. It's probably not even worth it. And I hate feeling that way. But what comes out of that is kind of positive because the next day, I do have a sense of renewal. I have a sense of starting anew. You can wipe the slate clean. You know what? Today's a new day. And I know that sounds corny, but it is kind of true. Some of us take it a day at a time. Some of us take it an hour at a time. Some of us are literally living minute to minute just to get by. And I am here to tell you that's okay. As long as you are getting by, that's really what matters. Maybe the days of crippling self-doubt for me personally is my own mechanism of reset. I am not totally sure. I've dealt with it most of my life and I've never really talked about it this in depth before, but yeah, it's, it's horrible when it happens. It's like a dream that you can't really get out of and you know it's happening. And I come in here and good positive things are happening in my world. The band is doing good things. We're writing, we're being creative. We're probably gonna go on tour again. 
very positive things. And that doesn't help. That doesn't matter. Just when you are feeling the worst about yourself, it's hard to steer out of that. But this isn't a boohoo, oh poor me video. I just wanted to kind of share my life experiences with some of you because you know what? It's okay if you're feeling down and it's okay if you're not feeling the greatest about yourself today. But tomorrow, give yourself another chance. That's all I ask of myself and that's all I ask of you guys. And that's all I can ask of you guys to ask of yourselves, if that makes any sense. Those are my thoughts for today. I love you all and I hope you have a wonderful day. And if not, maybe tomorrow will be better. Fluff out.